All right, in my experience of using BPC-157 for about seven years now, I don't have confidence that BPC is going to repair cartilage, especially in a chronic cartilage degeneration or damage setting. Now, based on the animal literature showing that we can get re better repair of injured musculoskeletal tissues when using BPC after an acute situation, I would have confidence that if somebody had an acute osteochondral defect or something like that, that taking BPC-157 after that can help the body to go through a better repair response such that the outcomes would be more beneficial. And so that's where I think BPC could be helpful. But in the chronic space, no, I don't think taking BPC-157 is going to repair or regenerate your cartilage. Now, can it help with pain if you have a cartilage issue or osteochondral defect or something like that? Yes, it can, and we have seen that on a large number of cases. Now, when those things, the kind of lower tier stuff, doesn't work, where we're typically gonna go is we're gonna look at doing intraosseous or subchondral injections of bone marrow concentrate. So that's where we're taking your bone marrow, which has a rich source of both hematopoietic and mesenchymal stem cells. And then under x-ray guidance, we're gonna inject that underneath the cartilage inside the bone. The subchondral bone is the proper term there. And what that can do is that can help to stimulate the body to have a healing response in that cartilage and oftentimes there's bone marrow edema deep to that cartilage defect and so we can see pain improvements and a reduction in size of that bone marrow lesion on MRI. So that's gonna be our more definitive treatment in the orthobiologic space. However, if you're just looking for trying BPC-157, you can have some decent confidence that could help with pain and function and symptoms, but I don't have confidence that it's going to repair or regenerate your cartilage.